Microsol is not a solar plant like all the other ones. Its aim? To bring electricity, heat and drinkable water to the poorest rural population on the planet. We have sensors that follow the sun's course. They will allow to constantly reflect the sun on this central tube in order to heat the water up to 180 degrees, stored in this hot water cylinder. A one-of-a-kind microplant using sun and water vapor to create energy. We had to imagine an adapted solution for the aimed population, a strong, reliable and cheap solution, entirely recyclable and completely harmless to the environment. The water, heated by the sun in a closed circuit, should be enough to supply the needs of a thousand-person village, small industries or even isolated agricultural producers. We have electricity 24 hours a day, only with the sun. It is an installation that exploits the sun's heat, therefore a lot larger than a power generation group. However, afterwards, one doesn't need fuel or propellant, it works alone. At the end of November 2013, it is at the Catarache site in the south of France that the electrical multinational that started the project launched Microsol. From a technical point of view, we want to get reliable unit with sturdy materials, where there will be very little maintenance because it is for African countries where rural electrification is made with few resources. The second challenge is that we bring a revolution in a village. It provides electricity, hot water, heat and especially that the economical functioning makes the village self-sufficient in maintenance and deployment. According to a responsible, its spreading is an answer at some of today's problems. We are at a time where we know how to invent something in between I am alone, I have my panel, and I make my own energy. Or, there is a huge plant for the entire country. This solution follows our logic. A logic with environmental products, but also consistent on different uses. The use of water, heat, and probably the most important one, the use of electricity. Nine organisms and four years were required to conceive Microsol. The Environment and Energy Control Agency invested almost half of the $10 million necessary. 1.3 billion people have no access to electricity in the world. Aware of the problem, a UN representative came specially for the launch. I believe it, this technology can really help us in West African countries, which are very poor countries, most of them, like Sierra Leone, Liberia, Senegal, Nigeria. The first microsol will be installed in Kenya by 2014.